Kevin came to us with a documentary about cults? Kevin and f***ing Pat? Are you kidding me? This is, what is it that you do exactly? The game where our panel tries to guess the unique job or hobby of the guest through yes or no questions. Each person takes turns questioning until they get a no response, at which point it moves to the next person. Can they figure it out in the time allotted? Today's guest is Daniel, who directed the 2018 documentary Behind the Curve. So we'll go in the order of uh, Bob, Pat, and Lisa. No. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I don't know what your name is if there's yeah, it says <laughs> name Texas Lisa. Case, uh... Oh, sorry. We've been friends for years. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll open it up. Uh, Daniel, uh, thanks for being on the show. Is this a job you currently have? Yes. Okay. Is this a job you, is this something you do for, do you get paid to do this? Yes. Is it your primary source of income? Yes. Okay. Um, do you work alone? No. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. Sorry, I was completely distracted. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, okay, you're going to announce yourself. Oh, my God. It was my turn. I said, hey, look, there's a cat. And then I sat here. I'm like, I wonder where that cat's going. Can I go to that perch <laughs> over there? That little cat? All right. Anyway, okay. Uh, yes or no questions? What's your cat's name? No, it's – um. <laughs> I, I wasn't even listening to Bob. I was looking at the cat, so I don't remember what he asked. Oh, perfect. Is this a job that you do outdoors? Yes. Wait, I have a clarifying question. I, is there a maybe option? <laughs> I think it's something that can be both done indoors and outdoors. So I think in the way that you're thinking of it, Pat, maybe it's a no. Okay. There you so go. That's a no. Then go. Um, is this job, uh, is it a, uh, a service you do for other people? Like, do you have clients? Do you have customers that? Yes. All right. So there are clients, customers. Is this uh, education based, this job? No. Does this job involve performance of some kind? No. Okay. Um, is this job technical? Like, is it something you primarily do on the computer? I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe more now than before. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go with no. Let's go with no. no. Okay. Let's go. With uh, is is it an artistic job? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you are you drawing or painting something? No. Is it a visual medium? Yes. Okay. Is it? Um, does it involve advertising at all? No. Uh, are you a photographer? No. Is it is it related to architecture? No. Uh, is it related to film? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, we're on to something. Um, would you, if it's film, would you be, mm, are you on set? Are you like somebody who's present on set when something's being made? Am I jumping too many steps ahead? Am I making assumptions? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to ask because I've always wanted to meet one. Are you a best boy? No. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> You're not some dumb key grip, are you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Unless you are a key grip. Uh, are you... Um... Oh, my God. All I got is has to do with film. I jumped way ahead to it being a movie and him being best boy. So yeah. that's... I made a lot of assumptions. Do you work? Uh, do you work in movies? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So it is in movies, Bob. Calm down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, um, it's is it behind the scenes? Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you on? Are, are you on camera? No. Okay. Are, do you work in a? That's a no, Patrick. What? I got a no. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Actually, thank you, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to Kevin, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone he's never coming back all right so it's film you're not in front of the camera um but when he asked if it was behind the scenes you went uh, so are you creating something behind the scenes that is in front of the camera 
Could you please clarify? <laughs> yeah, I think we need. Yeah. It, okay. Is is your is your contribution to this film? Is it seen on the film? No. Okay. Would your name appear in the credits? Like if a, a movie came out, you would. Would your name appear in the credits? Yes. Okay. Um, do you get to meet the actors? Do you interact with the actors? Yes. Do you do anything involving their clothes? No. Okay. Are you a uh, are you an assistant on films? Like an assistant no. to? No. no. These films, do they primarily have scripts? No. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> you are you know. Ken Burns? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know what he looked like if I saw him. Ken Burns looks like a like a rubber chicken. This is a picture of Ken Burns. This is a picture of rubber chicken. It's the same thing. No, I'm not Ken Burns. <laughs> do you work in uh, the field of documentary filmmaking? I do. Fuck yes. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, are you a documentarian? Yes. Yes. Have I seen some th something you've done? I watch a lot of documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be interesting to kind of guess one of his documentaries? Yeah. So. You've got the gist, right, Daniel? Like I would say, like mm -hmm. that's the gist. But let's try and guess one of the documentaries that he's made. Is the documentary about the entertainment business? No. Fuck yeah. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm really. I'm ready for this. <laughs> oh my god. So I feel like I've been training by watching a lot of like independent lens. I I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be hard. Um, hmm. <laughs> Uh, did, okay, uh, ha have you uh, documenteered, oh documenteered a documentary in the last uh, uh, two years that has been released? Yes. Okay, cool. So now just which cult <laughs> Um. Tell Lisa to stop laughing. Oh, in the did back you, hang on, what, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, 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 did, did your did, have you documented about a uh, a a cult of some kind? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. You just hit our fucking uh, wheelhouse. Uh, you don't even know. You fucked up. <laughs> you came to us with a documentary about cults, Kevin and fucking Pat. Are you kidding me? Buddy, oh, you I was up. almost in a cult. Okay, I got their numbers. Um, Ooh, uh, did, did did this cult documentary? Um, was it a series like a like a multi episode type of thing? No, so not Axiom. <laughs> You've made a cult documentary. Is that, that's, okay. Is it a, did you get to, is it a, is it a, hold on, no, I got this. No, I got this. My brain is melting down. Bob is going full Uncle Buck right now. <laughs> no, I can do this, I can do this. This is where you separate the men from the boys. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can. <laughs> You're almost there. I can. You look like a cult member, Bob. I do, I do. Do, uh, did you interview members of the cult? Yes. Okay, so it's not like Hale Bop. They all died, right? Or Jim Jones. Was this cult in the US? Yes. Okay. Um, was this cult within the, was this cult active within the past 10 years? Yes. Is this cult still active? Yes. Oh boy. Is it Scientology? No. Okay. This it, did you direct a movie called The Last Stop? No. Damn it. Cult. So a cult that's still active. And we can we can we can call it that, or is there a is there a better term to use, Daniel? Mormons. He said a cult or something like that. Uh, oh. Something like they're cult adjacent. That that sounds like a Mormon to me. Or something like a cult. That's why well, I said it, yes. Well, if it, yeah. if it quacks like a cult and talks like a cult. <laughs> um, just a disclaimer, maybe there's more like a hive mind sort of aspect to it. Tell me if I'm cult wrong. Mentality. Cult mentality, let's call it that. Okay, did you direct a documentary, or did you, doc sorry, documenteer a documentary uh, about a, a, a business of some kind? 
<gasps> oh, damn it. I also thought it was WeWork, Kevin. Are you Spotlight? Are you Mark Ruffalo's character? You do Spotlight. No. Okay. <laughs> Did you think Spotlight was a documentary? Did you think Mark Ruffalo? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Drama, I haven't seen right? like the investigation that led up to it was also a newspaper, not a documentary. I don't I'm know. So sorry. Not... What a stupid bad. <laughs> what a dumb fucking. I just wanted to. Um, okay. Did, okay. I have, I have a question. Maybe you'll help us narrow it down. Is this documentary available to watch on Netflix? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Is this about the Catholic Church? No. Um, all right. All right. Cult adjacent. Would this have to do with uh, fandoms of some sort? No. No. Oh, man. And, okay. Were you also thinking the Brony documentary, Kevin? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Oh, I was. <laughs> Because I know that came out more than two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I got it. Is this... Holy shit. Did you make the documentary about Flat Earthers? Yes. Yes! Oh, oh my God! God! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the curve? Behind the curve. Behind Behind the curve. Uh, I knew you'd get the name wrong eventually. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, this is Daniel. This is the director of Behind the Curtain. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have so, so many questions. people sent me a, a link to watch the trailer for that because they were like, "Hey, here's that thing that you're obsessed with." Because it's all true. And honestly, that's what I had a problem with. Is I thought you vilified the smartest people in no, the world. Kevin's flat. He's kidding. Well, no, no, no. I will say no, no. no but you know what he's not talking about? This is that water, and it's flat. No, He's but the thing, the thing that he's not kidding about is Kevin is obsessed with flat earthers, and he watches endless documentaries on YouTube that they make themselves. When your <laughs> documentary came out. I texted it to Kevin. He's like, "You're the fifth person to send me this fucking link." I, yeah, I'm gonna watch it when it comes out. So, what do you think about it? Like, do you think it's do you, like no? Have you landed on a no for the Earth being flat? It's solid no for me. Oh my god, yeah. I, have, I have a question about just being a documentarian. Like, what? How do you when you when you find a project you like? How do you begin to work on like figuring out how to what's the next step after you're like all right this is my topic yeah. I like people are gonna give you money for it like what do you do next? We come up with an idea we think is good. We first like see if anybody else has done it, and if nobody's done it to our satisfaction, then we say all right maybe we do it. So we start contacting people and see if they're willing to participate, and if they are, you kind of like do like a like a screen test almost. You you go out there like with um with behind the curve we just called the main flat earth guy mark and we just said can we come up and he said sure and so i went up by myself with a camera and we just talked and i filmed him and i came back and i was like i think we have a movie because if in a documentary like the if the subject's really interesting that's one thing mm -hmm. but if you don't have good characters like if, if you're talking to someone who just doesn't have a good screen presence it's kind of it can drain a documentary pretty hard so you want to make sure like that someone's worth interesting to look at for 90 minutes for the audience because it can be like about like a really interesting thing and, and whatever but if the audience is going to be bored by it it's not really uh, a, a good story to tell i guess you could say i want to ask a quick question about the subject while we're talking about it do you when you're when you have these subjects of this film when you're done filming when you wrap do you, are you done with them? Do you still talk to them? Are you still interacting with them? Um, generally, not really. We like met up with them when, when the movie premiered in different cities. And, you know, we're not friends necessarily. Right. Like we don't keep in touch, but every now and then we'll get an email from Mark. Um, some of them don't want to talk to us, which is fair. Uh, yeah, that's what I was community... ask. Some of them mad at you. Okay. Yeah, some of them are very mad at us and, and, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, but there was nothing that we showed that was a lie. You know, it was just life. You heard it. But documentaries are hard to be a part of. And I think if you're going to be a subject in a documentary, and this is from someone who needs, who relies on people agreeing to be in documentaries as, as a livelihood, but uh, maybe don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not huge. I'm not a huge fan of like, I, I don't believe that every documentary has to be about something serious that, you know, is like a really big issue. I think those are great and important, but when people think of documentaries, I think they often think of like, oh, it's about like something that I have to know about, like these murders or, 
you know, this, this horrible thing that happened, but they don't have to be, they can just document something. So that's what kind of what we do. Are there, are there other documentaries that you've made? Um, I have made a, a documentary prior to that about uh, esports, but before that I was shooting and editing documentaries for years with other people. Mm-hmm. And this was our first like breakout into doing it all of our, all ourselves. What, uh, what else have you worked on? I worked on a documentary called Echo in the Canyon. Did some stuff on that. I work on the show Cheer. Ugly Delicious is like a docu series mm-hmm. on Netflix that oh, I, I worked uh, on. I watch uh, I watch all of Ugly Delicious. <laughs> I, love uh, I was I was working on the first season when I was shooting Behind the Curve. I would take like long weekends and just go film. I have a question about Echo in the Canyon. Um, and because you you work so close to the subject matter, maybe you know this. Jacob sure. Dylan. <laughs> Um, seems like a great guy. Definitely not Bob Dylan's son, though, right? That's Bruce Springsteen's son. <laughs> no, 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 no. Take it, Pat. Put, bring up a picture of Jacob Dylan, and now here's Bob Dylan, <laughs> and here's Bruce Springsteen, and then lay them over one each other. Yeah. 